is moving along tracks. It is, it is probably the most dynamic physical system in the universe. Not even the most sophisticated laboratory has been able to produce a single living cell from non-living matter. Indeed, this is fully acknowledged to be impossible, and efforts to produce living cells from non-living matter have been abandoned. But the theory of evolution claims that this system, which man with all his intelligence, knowledge, and technology cannot succeed in reproducing, came into existence by chance. Fred Hoyle, a famous English mathematician, expressed the impossibility of formation of higher life forms without a creator. The chance that higher life forms might have emerged by chance is comparable with the chance that a tornado sweeping through a junkyard might assemble a Boeing 747 from materials there. The ingredients must combine. But they must combine according to an exact formula, in a unique way. The living molecules in your body that have protein, enzymes, DNA programming in them, the very simplest is made up of many hundreds of components. So 100 components would have one chance in 100 million billion, 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 billion chances of being correct. But you see, the 100 components uh, actually also have four chemical elements in each one. <laughs> and, and, and really the simplest living cell that can replicate itself has 400 components. So now we've got 4 times 400, which is 1,600. So we've got 1,600 components and that would be, well, 1 in 167,636 zeros following. That would be the odds against such a right combination. And, and wait a minute. Oh, you say, but that's a very rare thing, those kind of those cells with those components. Do you know what, my dear brother and sister? You have a brain with 10 billion components.
To make a comparison, within the cell, there are power stations, high-tech factories, a complex data bank, huge storage systems, advanced refineries, and a seemingly conscious cell membrane that controls what enters and leaves the cell. In order for the cell to survive, all of these organelles have to exist at the same time. Irreducible complexity was coined by Mike Behe in describing these molecular machines. Basically what it says is that you have multi-component parts to any given organelle or system in a cell, all of which are necessary for function. That is, if you remove one part, you lose function of that system. Falsify, 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 falsify